when Tool announced that Fear Not Common will be released in vinyl, I was pretty excited. But the cost of it will be around 180 US dollars. It's worth it to spend that amount of money on a record that maybe you already have on CD because I don't think that a new fan or somebody that wants to start listening to Tool will spend that amount of money. So maybe this will be a release for somebody that already is a Tool fan. This won't be a review of the music or the vinyl itself. This will be more a review of the packaging and how the vinyl sound because you well if you saw my previous videos you already know that I'm a fan of this album. We'll cover three things in this video. The first one is sound. The past releases of Tool, especially Lateralos and 10,000 Days, the vinyl format of that albums, uh, well, they, they didn't sound as good at all. They were not, uh, they didn't achieve the audiophile standards. For example, I had the Lateralos vinyl uh, picture uh, discs and, and I also had the unofficial 10,000 Days vinyl uh, release. And, and I had both of them and after listening to them some time, I, I wasn't enjoying the music. The, the layer separation was not there. It, 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 was not, uh, it was not a high quality audio vinyl. So in the end, I sold them both uh, for a reasonable amount of money and I bought the CD uh, releases of them. And they sounded pretty, pretty good. But I have to say that you will get something different with Fear Knuckle. I'm not an expert in the subject, but I know that for the vinyl you have to master it in a specific way. And if you see in the uh, in the book inside this box, it says that the analog ver version was specifically mastered for vinyl. So you see that with that um, you will expect a, a different uh, quality of audio contrary to the other tool releases. I have to say that I, I'm a, a vinyl person. I, I like CDs and I like vinyl, but I will, I will always incline to buy the vinyl version before the CD one. And uh, I can ensure you that you will have here a very, very good sounding vinyl. While listening to the CD of Fear Inocum, I was I was very happy with the sound, but you know, uh, there's something in the sound of the vinyl for me that uh, makes it sound very um, more uh, natural. For example, the, the drums of Danny, while listening to it on vinyl, sounds very, very different from the CD. Maybe it's for my equipment, maybe I don't know why, but they sound different. When you hear it, throughout the loudspeakers, uh, it's like you were you were having Danny just in front of you. The packaging. People are going to buy the album just because, because of the packaging. It's absolutely involving having the album in your hands, having to, you know, to open it, to see the pages before taking the disc, to see the oh, all these drawings, all these pictures. And then you will take out the disc, the vinyl, the vinyl disc, and we, you will place it in the turntable. I mean, it's like, it's not the same doing that, that taking your phone and hitting play. It's, 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 it's what, I was, what I was explaining before. It's a more evolving experience, having this album, having, listening to this, the album in this release than in any other. I think that the idea of changing the album artwork was pretty clever, but I don't know why they didn't change the pictures of the band members inside, you know? It would have been better to have different pictures than the CD release, because again, people that is buying this vinyl maybe already have the CD. One thing to bear in mind is when you see the sleeves of the book, you can see that they're not just glued together, all the pages, but or they are also sewed. So maybe that will mean that this will last a long period of time. 
I will be honest, I was going to make this review some days ago and I was going to say that the packaging was not worth the money. But after some time, some days, weeks spending listening sessions with this, um, I think I'm convinced. You know that the band was trying to, to increase the musical experience with this release. From the very first time you grab this box, you will say, man, this is expensive. The photos from the exterior have a shiny looking finish that looks amazing. Every single material used for building this box feels well thought. One thing that I have to complain is maybe related uh, between the, the packaging and the sound. With this release you will have five vinyls and when you first open it you see that the vinyls are pressed very very tight inside. So maybe this made uh, a pressure uh, for the weeks or months that they were uh, stored in the warehouse and when, when you place the vinyl on top of your turntable you will see that all the discs, all five vinyls inside here are banded. This will generally uh, uh, decrease the audio quality of the vinyl. Uh, you will normally have uh, more sound from the left side than the right side. It, it would, it's not supposed to be balanced uh, if, you, if the vinyl is banded. But uh, throughout my listening sessions I haven't found an issue with that whatsoever. And I've tried uh, to listen to this album both in headphones and with my loudspeakers and the, the sound was, uh, was pretty, pretty good. I don't know if this uh, banded disc of Fear Not Come is something that happened just to me or maybe somebody else is, um, is living the same experience. I have tried to see if somebody else was complaining about it in, on Reddit or, or somewhere in, in, in the web and I, have, and I found nothing. One thing you have to bear in mind for the packaging is that if you take out the book of the cover, if you're not careful you will damage the book, you see? So yeah, do it very, very gently. Value. This vinyl will cost you around $180, depending where you live in the world. And that's, that's pricey. But I have to consider that there are five discs inside. I'm not a fan of having five discs with just one side on them where there's music because I never see the gravings or of, of the disc, you know? It's something that is not interesting for me. But you have to consider that for packaging five discs with this material, with this amount of details. And you have to consider also that this is heavy. So shipping this will, will cost a lot as well. So considering the, the materials, the, the five discs and, and, and the package, the, shi the shipping costs, I think that the price is something, something fair, okay? I was thinking a lot about buying this or not. Now that I have it, that I have used it, listened to it several times, I'm happy with my purchase. So if you're a fan of the band and you're a fan of vinyl, I think this will be a no-brainer purchase. I would like to thank you for watching this brief review of two newest release, Free Inoculum vinyl version. And if you have it and you're happy with it, uh, please tell me in the comment section. If you're not happy, I, I would like to hear why as well. And yeah, see you, see you soon. Bye.